Yeah, it's like I'm in school but working. Is that what residency is? Your favorite thing to do is to tell me that you're gonna be done way before you're gonna be done. I was a little hangry. go see the doctor for something that's like relatively more urgent and so there was a last minute cancellation I was able to slot him an appointment thankfully he's already talked to his program director about it and so she is aware um, and so I am gonna go and pick him up and drop him off at his doctor's appointment and then once he's done I'll drop him back off at residency hopefully if he feels okay and if not he might need to end up resting for a little bit but that is my day today <laughs> let's get dressed Let's go pick Kevin up. Hello. I was Hello. literally Mickey Page me. I was literally like inside someone's body doing surgery. There was no way for me to contact you and I felt like the nurse wouldn't... picked up and was like the next appointment is 9:30 and I looked at the wall it's like 8:57 and I'm like huh. uh Hi, doctor. Uh, I got like I was literally like doing part of the procedure. Are you proud of me for knowing your pager number and knowing to page yes. you? Yes. My pager number has like it's like the you know it has, it has very easy to remember. Also, are you proud of me for not putting anything explicit in that page? Like I've really thought about it before I sent it. You should. Too. Did you know it was from me? Who else could it be from? I don't know. There's no context. Who else could it be from? I didn't put it love, Mickey. Today literally feels like Christmas because I just got my snow jumpsuit that I've been waiting for. But today is also the same day that I think my snow boots and bindings are here. So I thought I would unbox them with you guys. You're probably wondering like, when did you ever get into snow sports? I thought you said you hated Seattle. Last season, we went with our good friends, Madeline and Evan, and Madeline is better than me at snowboarding, but she's still also learning. So it's nice to go with somebody who's like around the same level. Evan is Canadian, obviously he's amazing at snow sports. So he was able to teach us a little bit, which is great. The first time I ever went snowboarding, that was vlog during Vlogmas like two years ago. And I didn't even tighten my bindings going down because I didn't know that you had to. The second time I went snowboarding with them, it was so much more fun they're actually pretty cute okay so these are my snow boots they actually have double boas so boa on the side boa in the front this is for sure the most expensive hobby i've ever participated in i tried to buy everything used on facebook marketplace or offer up but the issue is that there's a lot of sizing related things when it comes to stuff like this kevin was actually able to get all of his things used and i was the one who wanted to get all of my things used but ended up i love you yay It literally feels like Christmas. And Kevin actually got these for me. Thanks, babe! Yay, are they cute? Yay! So, Kevin used to wear these sporty glasses. They're from Ray Bans. Is sporty the right word? It's kind of like the Asian tech bro glasses. And when I met him, I was like, if you get round glasses, you'll look a lot friendlier, slash nicer, slash cuter. And so he got these glasses, but I literally got these for you like when we just started dating. And my glasses are all from iBuy Direct, not sponsored, genuinely just like the most affordable and fast option. So I got him two to try to see which one looks better. Are you ready? Okay. This is kind of interesting. Whoa, you look like a different person. It's so clear. It's <laughs> and then this one is more of a dupe of the one that Kevin already had. It's it's different, but like if you're as long as, as, long as you're not comparing them. Oh, you look so cute. I like it. 
Hello, friends. I'm gonna do the thing where I pretend to be your hands. Okay. Hello. Welcome back to the vlogs. Thank you guys for coming here today. Another episode. I have this like horrible scab like right here that is from me picking my pimples when I'm not supposed to be doing that. But today we are doing our favorite things to do on earth, including going to Costco and filming podcast episodes. So we're gonna take you guys with us. And clean the house. Yes. This is a very rare weekend where Kevin has both days off and usually during the weekend there are a number of things that can happen one kevin can be rounding which means usually go in around 6 30 and then you come back around 9 30 or noon. so yeah to noon depends which hospital and how many patients are on the list and you usually have to do that for both saturday and sunday if you're rounding the other option is that you could potentially be on call for a 36 hour shift and you guys know that starts 6 a.m. on Saturday and doesn't end until 6 p.m. on Sunday. Um, and then Sunday night you're basically sleeping to get ready for work at 6 on Monday. You can also be on call Friday night and Sunday night which then bleeds into your weekend because if you think about it if you're on call Friday night that means that you don't get off until 6 a.m. on Saturday, which means that part of your Saturday is already gone and you probably need to sleep after because you're tired. And then on Sunday, similarly, if you're on call 6 p.m. Sunday, then you can't really do anything Sunday during the day. Because you don't have a post-call day on Monday. And also because you just probably should rest before you are on all night. So this is a rare occasion. tree on TikTok. I didn't realize it was this expensive, but it is really, really pretty. Oh my god. They're holding so snacks. Like, are you kidding me? Why are these the cutest things I've ever seen? I'm gonna put it in my cart and think about it. <laughs> Who's a little hangry? The chicken bake they sell at the store is different than the frozen chicken bakes that you get. I feel like this is like an immigrant story. Like going to the Costco food court and like getting like a chicken bake. Our order is chicken bake, hot dog, and pepperoni pizza. pizza. Here you go. I'm just waiting in line for you. Hello friends, happy Tuesday. It is my errand day slash day off. So I'm just catching up on life things. I just went to the dentist and Reminding you guys that you should go to the dentist because most insurances cover two dental cleanings a year. Towards the end of the year, their schedules are always very, very packed. So I always try to go in November because it's a little less busy. And also you can ask to be put on the cancellation list. The teeth are looking amazing. Earlier this year, I vlogged my journey getting veneers and I have zero regrets. I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions, but honestly, I feel so much more confident in my teeth and like smelling and photos and pictures. I just got this package in the mail and for size reference, I am 5'3". So this box is, I don't know, what does that make that? Like 5'10"? Pause this video and comment down below what you think this is because I'm so excited to see if you guys can guess correctly. I unboxed this and the thing that came out of it is this! I'm just shocked, like it's so beautiful. This is my brand new snowboard. In the Pacific Northwest, the winters are very gloomy, very sad, it rains a lot. But the upside is that we have killer slopes that are super close to the city. In the past, I've always been so scared to try new things because you're never good at something when you learn something new. And the fear of not being good at something stopped me from trying so many things in my life that now that I'm in my 20s, I'm like, I don't give an F. Like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Whether or not I look good doing it, as long as I'm having a good time, that's all that matters to me. Kevin got me the bindings, mom and dad got me the board, and I also got some boots. So the whole fam came through to fund my snowboarding hobby, which I am so grateful for. Let me take you upstairs so I can show you the rest of the fit, just cause I'm so excited and I wanna show you guys. I just have an under scrub on and some Lululemon shorts. We are gonna put the snow fit that I got this is actually from Nay Y. Well, I saw that they came out with a snow line and I was like, yup, 
Add to cart. I need that immediately. The really amazing part about this fit is that it has adjustable straps here as well as adjustable straps here. Kind of cinch your waist to what feels comfortable for you. And then of course, because we are going to be on the slopes, we need a beanie. This is what we're looking like so far. Don't mind the best in the back, okay? Here is what the fit looks like. It has these flared out bottoms that are gonna be great for covering the boot area. And then the rest of it is just, it's just so cute. And it's gonna match my board perfectly, which I'm super excited for. The best part of all of this is that I'm not even good at snowboarding, but I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun. That's what I'm here for. A good time, not for a long time. <sighs> Let me just show you the state of affairs, okay? Like, there's stuff everywhere. This was literally spotless yesterday. So within 24 hours, all of this junk has kind of accumulated. The kitchen is looking a hot mess, but let's, let's go. Why is there just a naked chicken on the counter? <laughs> okay, let's clean this. part of the kitchen is looking much better and we actually have some new decor pieces so these are new pieces from fable which are so pretty I, I thought that they would fit a more japandy theme so I love a little elements and pops of green uh, I just got home from some dinner it's always just nice to catch up with a friend I try to do my dinners a little bit on the earlier side so that I can still pick up Kevin from work it is currently just about 8 p.m. he should be done hopefully sometime soon okay you guys it is now I think 8 30 almost 9 we are going to head and pick up Kevin it's very chilly out unfortunately I'm gonna switch into some warm boots let's grab our keys okay it's very dark oh, hello no. your favorite thing to do is to tell me that you're gonna be done way before you're gonna be done true or false? i didn't say i was done true or false you're always like okay yeah you can leave now you can leave now do you know how fast i drive babe one time i always have to wait there's one time in this entire career of me picking you up where you yesterday was it yesterday? Day before no. yesterday. No, I don't think so. Drive. What the? What the heck? Drive. Oh I'm just pretending God. to be you. This I'm hungry. so empty. Babe, what the heck? A little appreciation? I'm hungry! I have You are like this when you are the hungry. You. Yay! Are you vlogging? Yeah. Also have leftover sushi for Kev. Isn't it crazy that like you don't get off work until like nine. 39 and then after that you still have to write yeah. notes, you have to study, and you have to write pre-op emails? Yeah, it's like I'm in school but working. Is that what residency is? It's so crazy the, the range of residency. Like I have friends who are in residency who are living their absolute best life. And then we have you. There are people worse than me too, which is crazy. So the reason it's called residency is why. You used to live in the hospital. Residence. So then, like, it's funny because a lot of the older doctors will tell you, like, this is so much easier compared to, like, what? But it's what... different, right? It's so different. They didn't have to chart back then the way that, like, we have to chart now. And, like, the expectations, I feel like, are different. And the medical care and the level of care that you're providing is different. So I don't feel like it's a fair comparison. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying what they did was easy, but it's different. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!